Hi, it's Rita. Good morning. Let's see who's on this morning. Gail, I see Gail, Sherry, Louise, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Um, who else? Sherry, Louise, did I say Louise? Yeah, so good morning. Um, so today we're going to be working on another project that I tried to do for my um, for the bridal shower that I went to last Saturday. And it is a mixer pop-up card from My Scrap Chick. So if you don't know, My Scrap Chick is a place to find SVGs. Um, it's You just go to the website or to Google, right, and type in myscrapchick.com and you will come upon this website. So this website is a, a group of, I think, uh, you know, I, I'm not so certain, but... Um, it seems to me like it's a group of different designers that come up with different ideas. And one of the main designers is this woman named Cindy G. And that is where we're going to start today with this project. So she has a lot of really great cards and box cards also really cute but i like this idea of a pop-up sort of it's a hexagon look so i'm going to just type in mixer because i know that i can find this file just by typing in mixer in the search and here it is so it is a old-fashioned uh you know like a uh Cuisinart. Is it Cuisinart? No. KitchenAid. Sorry. It's KitchenAid Mixer. And um, it is, it's a pop-up. So um, it's basically six sides to it. And then we're going to create the mechanism. Hopefully, we're going to create the mechanism that's going to allow it to go um, up and down. And it can be folded and put into a regular five by seven inch envelope. I did have a hard time putting this together and so I'm a little bit nervous about it but I figured you know you and I could hold hands and we could do it together. So obviously the first part is purchasing it. This is often on sale so if you don't want to purchase this one just now because it's three dollars you can come and um, wait for one of their sales. They have lots of great sales often for a dollar um, and you'll see that you know some of the new ones these are the newest ones these slice cards which we've done a slice card um, before but these are on sale so if you choose not to do this one you can find others in um, in their stack really nice place to shop and um, most of the time the directions are great but I have to tell you for this mixer card um, I did have a hard time putting it together I did watch the video several times so we're gonna try it again um, because there's a lot of moving parts in here okay so just so that you know um, what you do is when you purchase it you're going to come here to design space and you're gonna go to upload and then you see this oval image that says upload image you're going to upload it and hit browse now um, I'm assuming that you already downloaded it so you go to your download files and then you would look for it here um, in your download files which I would suggest you keep neater than mine you know and um, so here it is mixer pop-up card and then you'll see there's a number of folders we're going to go to SVG and then we're going to choose the mixer pop-up SVG which you can see over here that's the entire thing sometimes some of their SVGs come in two pieces like two different SVGs um, and you have to upload both of them but then this one they're all on the same SVG so you go ahead and you open it and you name it and you hit upload once you hit upload it's here in your uploads recent upload file so you're just going to click on it and bring it into your canvas oh there's cheryl hi good morning everybody all right so as you can see that's mine my original it comes all in this one piece and um, the first thing that you do need to do is ungroup it 
and then you're going to make sure that the score lines, which there's only a couple, there's a cupcake and then there's the base, um, you're going to make sure that you attach them, okay, before you go and cut them on your machine. Okay, which is what I've already done and I've cut it all out. So let's go ahead and have a look at how this goes together. Let's see. Okay, so here are all my pieces. I actually got extras. <laughs> I've got extra pieces. But this is the main piece right here. So here is my main piece like that. And this one here is the main piece with all of the... Um, all of the score lines scored. So the first thing that we want to do is, I'm gonna make sure I use this for my, for my reference, is I'm going to make it so that this, this one with the two slits is on the top right-hand side, okay? So it's on the top right-hand side. This is facing outward. And then we're gonna take our little squares that we cut out and we're gonna place them all in here. We're gonna glue them all together on there. Okay. And um, I'm using this glue because I had it uh, from the last project. It is Tombow Uno Mono, I think it's called Mono, Aqua Glue Mono. I don't know what Mono means. Well, I know what mono means, but I don't know how it refers to this glue because it, it's, it's got two tips. So that would be two duo, right? <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, um, I'm going to do all these pieces here and make sure we try to line them up straight. That's why I fold and made sure that all of the score lines are showing so that I won't get anything in the way, you see? And uh, then I'm going to glue these, all six of these on as best as I can. Let's see. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, the beginning part of your week. Uh, I am struggling with, I, we've got rats in my house, like in my, around my house and uh, we've been trying to, to outsmart them, but they're pretty smart. And this morning I found out that they were actually in the kitchen. So I'm like a little freaked out about that. Just, just to be honest with you, just a little freaked out <laughs> about the rats. So I got to call a professional because Santo keeps saying, no, I can do it. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to live with rats until you get around to doing it right <laughs> okay so here is our no my cat doesn't my cat does not frankie is a lover not a fighter i guess i thought he was a bit of a mouser but i guess he's not or at least when he's not in his house or i don't know i don't know what the deal is anyway so this is the outside of it it's gonna fold like this and create a hexagon shape like that and these pieces are going to be what we're going to work on um, with the mixer and the cupcakes. So what we need to do is turn this around and we're gonna put glue on these tabs and then we're going to glue them to the inside right here. So let's go ahead and glue them. We can get them ready for for the insert. So there are two inserts on this one. There's a mixer, the classic KitchenAid mixer, which I cut out in that seafoam green. Mine's white. I've had mine forever. So I'm like, I don't think I can give up my old one just because I like the color of the blue one, right? Yeah, I know. I must have an opening somewhere. And we've been like for a while now because we got a basement and we also have Fieldstone Foundation. So um, it's very possible they're just kind of tunneling through the old Fieldstone Foundation and coming in. But 
we're all grossed out here. <laughs> Sancho, not so much. I'm like, well, you don't live here, so that's why. All right, so see what I did there? I, I pressed down, and we got to make sure that those stick down here, just like that. We can probably just place it on opposite and just sort of let it dry. Now we're going to assemble the mixer. So the mixer is consistent, uh, comprised of these two pieces. This one is the one that we're going to decorate and it just gives it some thickness. So let's go ahead and decorate this one before we put it on the tabbed one. Okay. So um, there's a lot of little things here. Put this aside. We've got this I cut out in chrome. So we're going to be putting that here. Where else? We've got a mixing bowl, which we don't put on right away. And where's our, here's our little, uh, like the platform where the bowl goes, like that. And then we have all these little dainty pieces that are going to go on here. Um, and, you know, uh, you don't have to be so, I don't know, careful about these pieces, but they are very, uh, very small. So you may need to get out your little, um, your little thing. Where is it? Where's mine? Here. This one's mine. Uh, if you've never seen this before, it just kind of picks up your pieces like that. So the first piece I'm going to put on is this one. That's where like the paddle would be. And let me just go ahead and use this and press it down. There's going to be some overlap there. All right. And what else do we need to do? We need to do this one here. So let's glue that. So yeah, a little freaked out about um, about the rats. Believe it or not, Owen is the most freaked out by it. Um, he really does not like rats. <laughs> so, um, so I guess he's not going into pest control. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, so these are my little pieces. Again, you can use your little pick pick them up. I think it's that's what this is called. Quick stick it used to be called a pickup stick. All right, like that. One, two, three, four. And then down here, we're going to put the little part where the bowl is going to go. Um, and so Owen's all done with school now, and we just have to get him ready for going up to New Hampshire, and I gotta tell you, it feels like he's going away to college. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, what do I need to get? He needs, but my sister has stuff, and I don't know why I'm acting that way. But anyway, so here is the piece that it's going to attach to to give it some stiffness, you see. And it goes right on over there, and then we'll add the bowl right on top of that. Let me just move this and glue the back of this one um yeah so we're like trying to figure out what all he needs and i feel like it's like back to school but he's going away i don't know if i'm going to survive this guys it's just really it's a hard thing phew um but i'm sure a lot of you have had the same experience as me and uh, it's not like I spend a ton of time with them anymore but it just it just kind of like freaks me out a little bit and my sister will take good care I talked to her yesterday and um she's looking forward to it we're trying to coordinate different schedules so that we can go up there and and see him and stuff like that so it should be fun okay so there's our first insert isn't it cute? You can do some uh, inking if you wanted to. I didn't really feel like I needed to. So we're going to put that aside. Now we'll work on the cupcake. The cupcake is the only other piece that has a little bit of a score line here. So let's put together the cupcake. We've got this 
and I don't know why, but they had me cut this out in the same color. I suppose it doesn't matter. And then, and then we have our three pieces of frosting right on top there. So let's go ahead and start putting that together. I cannot believe that it's going to be like the 4th of July soon. Uh, I'm, I'm so behind on all my, you know, usual things. I still have my spring decorations up. And, well, I don't know. We got to get our, out our 4th of July stuff. Wonder what we'll make for Fourth of July. I think um, I was thinking about some decorations. I was thinking about a large, oversized. This is from SVG Cuts, but an oversized um, star that hangs up. I don't know if you guys have seen that, uh, but it is so much fun. I think I might make that. Either that, or I was thinking about making those star paper star um lanterns like you put you put a a uh light bulb in them and you hang them in your in your or on your porch i guess or in a room I used to have them in high in college so i wonder if I wonder if that would be fun to do, but I also like these giant stars from SVG Cuts. So, did I get bunting? No, I love bunting. <laughs> I love bunting. Bunting is one of my favorite things in the world. It's so funny. I wonder. Uh, I, I like kind of like, oh, certain things just make me very excited. Maybe it makes me kind of simple, but. I love the way bunting looks, especially on the older homes here in New England. And it's so much fun to ride through the villages, you know, just go for a nice ride in the summertime because then all the houses are usually decorated with flags and bunting and uh, they just do a really nice job, especially like in places like Rockport and Gloucester because the homes are or older. I know they're not as old as like English homes and things, but it's sort of, I think most of them are, are the oldest ones in our country anyway. Um, and it's a lot of fun to see. Okay. So there's our cupcake. Isn't that cute? And we can also take and put a flower on it. So I cut out a couple of flowers. Um, I just did some extra paper that I had. But so I'm just turning up the little petals there. And let me grab the inside, the, the stamen. Hi, teddy bear, what are you doing? Being a good boy? So we're gonna put that on the inside and then we're gonna put this on top of our cute little cupcake. I know the portions are, are not, proportions are not right, but I still think this is an adorable project. So now we have all of this stuff we're done with, okay? So I'm just gonna move it all out of the way. So now we have our three pieces and, um, and we can put together the three pieces. So let's just make sure, well, so the glue didn't stick here. So let's go ahead and try that again. All right. Oh. Pop dot it. <laughs> Pop dot it. Yeah, I should. I should have pop dotted that. You're right. Okay, so we're going to turn this over. I hope that this is stuck. All right. And um, the way that I saw, now I've watched this video many times, so I'm hoping I get this right. But the way that I saw this was she put in these two pieces like this. 
right? And then turned it over. And you can see here that there is this flap, you see? And that flap is gonna go inside to this way, right here. And it, before she did that, she took that one out, just to kind of make it easier. So we're gonna put it in there and we're gonna glue it to the bottom, or I guess this is, yeah, this is maybe the bottom. Oops, press it down. Like that. You see? And then, you see it's moving like that? Then we're going to take this one and put it in this slot, like this. And she said, Make sure it's really well aligned. And then what we're going to do is take and glue it to this piece right here. I don't know if this was glued down or not. She might have glued this down. Let's try that. All right, sure it's centered and then Glue this piece down. And then she, I believe that she, see how she opened it up like that and then she glued this piece to that tab here. So that way when the card opened up, Let's just make sure it's on there really well. There. Okay, it did not work. I believe this is how, this is where I'm getting confused, folks, so pardon me. But uh, I think I think it's supposed to go like this, I think. Might be wrong. Maybe it's supposed to go this way. Yeah, I think it's supposed to go that way. Yeah, because we need it for it to come up. So, okay, good. Figure that part out. All right, let's go ahead and just glue there like that. Hold it, make sure you glue is really taking. All right, and now we can lift this up like that, yes. Okay, and we're gonna to need to make sure that these on this side are folded as well. And they're folded in, you see, and this is where they're going to get glued together, and that's what the inside of the card's gonna look like. So, Let's go ahead and put some glue on these tabs and try to get this right. All right. So this is not particularly easy, but let's try it. We're gonna, I have to put my fingers in there. Make sure that it's lining up. All right, and then this side Make sure it's lining up. I don't know how I get it so that this in the back is, is actually gluing properly. Well, we'll see. I wanna press my fingers in there, <laughs> which is what I'm doing. Uh, uh, okay, hmm. I wonder if double stick tape would work on this better. Well, I already put the glue on, so let's try this again. I want to make sure that these are attached and they stay attached all the way through. There you are. All right. So I'm give it a second to catch. Okay, and now I think we can, yep, we can fold it up like this. Yep, 
Yep, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right, and then the last part of this is the, the tab. So we just need to glue this tab. Like so. This should work. All right, so there's our completed card, right? So if you're going to send this to somebody, you would fold it flat, you put it in a five by seven inch envelope. And when they got it, they would just have to open it up like this. And there it sits with our little uh, cupcake with the cute little flower and the mixer. Isn't that adorable? Ah, oh, I'm surprised I did it. Yay for me. Um, so I'm pretty excited that I did it. And again, just, it's just one of these pop like this. Okay. So just to, cause we, that didn't take too long, right? Just to recap, that is from my scrapchick.com and it is a paid file. Thank you. It is a, it is a, thank you, um, our Dean and Leslie. Um, it is a paid file, but really just adorable. Now for Friday, I was wanting to do something patriotic as we started off talking. And there are a couple of files that I was looking at. So I want to go back to another designer called, um, well, the, the designer website is called Simply Crafty SVGs.com. And here's another one that does all 3D um, type of things. And uh, I did see recently, look at this donut card. Oh my God, is that not the cutest? If any of you saw my post from Kane's Donuts, you know I'm a bit of a donut fan. But, um, but I wanted to see what they had for 4th of July. So I'm gonna do shop and let's see, 4th of July. And wondering if they have anything interesting like bunting. Oh, look, there is a banner box for free. Why don't we do that since it's free? Uh, let's have a look at the different. Oh, so you can use it as a box to hold your utensils in, which I think is adorable. So why don't we work on this on Friday? It's called the USA Banner Box. It is a freebie and it's from simplycraftysvgs.com. So I'm going to add that to my cart just so you can be prepared for this, right? And then I'm going to go to proceed to checkout. And I'm a returning customer, so I think I'm going to put in my email address here and password. I'm going to guess what I did because, oh my God, who can remember? And it's, nope, not now. So I'm going to try the other email I have. Don't you hate this part? This part I just detest. <laughs> I was like, what? All right, let's try this. Error, the, the, the password I entered was incorrect. Okay, good. All right, not now. So I just need to figure out what the password was. Let's try that. Oh, it worked, okay. I'm going to save the password so I never have to deal with that now. Okay, so there I am. I'm going to do place order now. And once I do that, I am going to download the file to Design Space. So right here, you can see um, USA Banner Box Zip. And then there's download here. So we're going to just go ahead and hit the download. And it will ask me if we feel comfortable. I say allow, and you see that thing jump off of my screen. That means it's going to my downloads file. So I go to my downloads file 
and I hope I can find it. There it is at the very top, the USA Banner Box. And there's an image and a PDF, so maybe to put it together. And then we've got the SVG file. So it looks as if there are one, two, two different SVGs. But if you look under the file folder, it says complete files, you'll see USA box complete solid lines or USA box complete. Okay. Now I don't actually like the solid lines when I'm doing an outside SVG. So this is the one that I'm going to bring in the USA box complete SVG. So I will go to my Cricut design space and do new. I'll save this. And we're going to go over here to upload and we'll do upload image, browse, downloads, and let's find our USA banner box. There it is. There's the complete files. There's the completed one. Wow, this is easy. Okay, open and bring it in. And then we will be able to uh, cut and decorate this for Friday. Okay, you could also make it a different size if you wanted to. I might experiment with that. I might experiment with some uh, glitter paper or something, but things should be a lot of fun. So I hope you can join me on Friday. Um, I love 3D stuff too. And yes, I can afford the... Um, I can afford the free as well. So, um, so again, today's project was this, which is a mixer pop-up. It's like a hexagon shaped pop-up box. Now this was a paid file, um, that I bought because I thought I was going to give it to somebody for bridal shower, but, um, they have a lot of different ones here at that is from, um, my scrap check. And then Friday's project is going to be this, which is from Simply Crafty SVGs. And that's it for me for today. Um, how, how, how do you like it? Do you like this? Are you happy about Friday's project? Let me hear from you what you think. Um, and, oh, a statue, statue of Liberty. I, Oh, where did you get that Statue of Liberty? I want to do a Statue of Liberty. I think that would be fun. I don't know. So that's going to do... I, I love using different designers too. It kind of it gives, I don't know, flexibility in your design. And you can do whatever you want. And I like it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, let's see. What do I else do I have up my sleeve this week? Well, I got to get rid of my rats. And um, I have to clean my house clearly because <laughs> I've been through like the pantry and the back, but I just don't like clutter hanging around. So it's time to declutter and everything and get Owen ready for, uh, for back to school. No, just kidding. Back to New Hampshire. And what else do we have to do? I think, oh, I've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon and see how my scans went. I don't feel like that they, that was any, you know, whatever. You made a statue. Where did you get the Statue of Liberty design? I want that. I want that. I haven't ever seen one and I really like Statue of Liberty. I wonder if we can search Statue of Liberty. Uh, no, search. Nothing so far. No results found. I don't know where I'm going to find it. So if you know where you found it, um, let me know, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, oh, and they have Glowforge laser files. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't have a Glowforge, though, but and I don't think I want one, so... Uh, those are very expensive. Okay, look it up and let me know, okay? Um, all right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today, and I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I am less than uh, 
400 subscribers away from my hitting my big, my long-term goal, 25,000. And wouldn't that be fun to do? We could have a little party and I could even do a giveaway um, for that. I think that would be a lot of fun. No pressure or anything. But if you are uh, enjoying my videos, please be sure to... Um, to hit that subscribe button and that little bell thing because um, then you'll be notified when I go live on your screen and you can just click in and, and watch, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.